Hello Star Wars fans, my name's Joel Robinson, and I have everything you need to know about a live-action Star Wars TV series. So let's get started. So Star Wars is in the middle of a great rebirth into popular culture, with six new movies, one new animated show, four new comic book runs, 14 new novels, four new video games, and now a Star Wars live-action TV show. That's right, after six years of rumors, false promises, and broken dreams, we finally have proof that there is going to be a Star Wars live-action TV show. Cineflex.com has written about how Lucasfilm is developing multiple series in partnership with Netflix. That's right, Netflix is working with Lucasfilm on developing not only one, but up to three different TV shows, all of which will be live action. Of course, this shouldn't surprise us. With Netflix's recent success with Marvel's Daredevil series, they are the obvious choice to helm a Star Wars TV show. Netflix specializes in the quality of their content, which is the first priority for Lucasfilm. What these series are going to be about is still uncertain, although Cineflex says that Lucasfilm wants to reuse the sets of their upcoming films. This is huge, because Rogue One begins production this week. It seems highly likely that one of these series will take place during the same time as Rogue One. Long, long ago, in a pre-Disney Lucasfilm, it was revealed that George Lucas was working on a live-action Star Wars show. At the time, George Lucas revealed that there were 50 scripts completed, although he admitted it was impossible to do for less than $50 million an episode. But that was in 2010, and now the year is 2015. So in the age of VFX being vomited on every movie, YouTube video, and Vine, a Star Wars live-action TV show really seems like it could be a possibility. Even if the storyline of this upcoming series is unknown, we can make some educated guesses about what we could expect to see. We know that the series is going to focus on the events of the criminal underworld of Coruscant and their dealings with the newly formed Empire, between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope. Now, personally, I don't believe that this new series will be exactly the same as the one that was previously written, but we can expect that with Rogue One in production, that this new series will be between Episode 3 and 4. We know that Rogue One will be focusing on the Rebel Alliance and its struggle to steal the plans for the Death Star. And if it's true that the showmakers want to reuse the sets from Rogue One, and other Star Wars films, then that leaves us with only a few major possibilities. We know from recent set photos that we are going to be returning to Yavin. What if this new show starts with a bounty hunter infiltrating the Rebellion and trying to stop the newly formed Rebel Alliance? I would love to see this, especially from the point of view of a bounty hunter. It's a great way to jump back and forth between different sides of the same conflict. Think of the way that Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. jumps all around the planet. It would be the same idea, but with Star Wars, it would be all around the entire galaxy. Personally, anything that Netflix, Disney, and Lucasfilm create, I think is going to be amazing. Because whatever it is, it means there's going to be more Star Wars, which is always a great thing. And I don't mean like the prequels, I mean like the gritty, space western, original trilogy, good stuff. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And what would you like to see from a live-action Star Wars show? And be sure to chat it up with some other Star Wars fans down there, because our love of Star Wars is what unites us all. And as always, may the Force be with all of you.